So, nearly died. Feel much better now. Oh. The, the ball. Couch potato. <laughs> you like this look? Three egg zoom. Where? <laughs> yes. That's the whipping. Burrito. Look at this. Woo! Grippers out. It's New York City. Looks abandoned over here. Gotta get gone. It's, it's cop on our six. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> She's a beaut, Clark. Swank. Dangerous drop off. Oh my God. We found the fountain of youth. Wow. In 1888, we like that. Cool. The sword. 1739. 500 years. Wow. Whoa. What a view of the town. Girl, you browning. It's tore out all of Lyndon Johnson. Prehistoric fossil. 1605. The hood or something. The oldest surviving house. 1513. Jack Sparrow's down here. <laughs> Why bait? Wow. Uh oh. The TikTok. He looks creepy. He's so big. Hog jaws here. Enormous. Wow. Lord. Take the jiggle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Snakes. Okay. Shrunken head. Space food. A picture show. Ugh. Convict on moped. Yay. It's enormous. Pirates. 1790s. Live his best life. Cannonballs. Woo. This is where they film the movie. The Opry House. This ain't good. It's so cool. RC Cola and Shindig. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wiener lock is not. That'll wake you up. Good walkie. Yes. <laughs> Cheaper than divorce. Guaranteed. Guys, welcome back to the Sleeper Dude channel. You know, there's nothing like going on a family vacation out on the open road. Uh, you know, everybody being together and the memories you make and the camaraderie, but that's not what we're here to do today. We're gonna get the station wagon fixed. We're gonna have the kids help us and we're gonna leave them here and me and Tosh are gonna go on our anniversary trip. <laughs> exactly. We make sure every year around the time of our anniversary for me and her to go on a trip somewhere. We've been on a lot of trips over the years, just me and her. If you're married with children, I would definitely recommend it at least once a year to go do something. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to drive this station wagon to St. Augustine, Florida. Mom likes the beach. I like the history. It's a little mix of both there. We drove this station wagon on our family road trip 7,000 miles a couple months ago, and she made about three miles past that, locked up the alternator, and we haven't drove it since. Bought an alternator a couple months ago for it and have yet to put it on, so we're gonna put an alternator on it, change the oil, get her cleaned up and ready to go, and uh, we're gonna head out on our trip. Yay. Good luck, guys. <laughs> We've been moving it in and out when we have to with the belt completely off of it, so. <laughs> Okay, nearly died. <laughs> this thing is completely locked up solid. It actually happened when Wawa was driving it. I'm just saying. What, me? I drive it 7,000 miles, oh, no problem. Yeah. She gets it for two, two seconds. Yeah, she don't make it across the yard in it. Maybe it was necessarily my fault. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. Uh, we better check the tape on that. Mom's gonna kill me. Mom, are you ready to go to Florida? I'm Ready. It's like I'm your love ready, language, isn't it? I'm not like packed up, but I'm ready. I need a, I need a vacation. Come on. We're leaving the day after our anniversary. How many years have y'all been married? 18 long years. That's insane. I'm most excited. All right, let's get these bolts out of here. Not 18 long years. Oh, I mean 18 wonderful years. <laughs> mm-hmm, totally. <laughs> Oddly enough, this thing has torque sets in here. It's kind of weird. Look. But does it look like the right one, Ralphie? It spins freely? Uh, yeah, I can see. <laughs> Feel much better now. Well, let me look at them bolts. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. They said the fountain of youth was in St. Augustine. Well, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll find it. Maybe I'll get me a drink. We'll come back and you'll be like five. Leave Benjamin you know. Button. I'm <laughs> Benjamin. I'm it. No, that's don't get her started. That's the only thing, that's the only thing I get from that movie, Brad Pitt. That movie is pretty good. Go watch it. I need a pry bar, guys. Oh. Maybe the pry bar. You want to grab yeah. that? You know you get, still got wires. So that's fine. Yeah. How do you feel about driving this car on a long trip? Oh, I'm fine with it. We have never as used it as a commuter yet. As long as you can be quiet and do your editing while Burn roll the on. trail up. <laughs> that's right. We bought it, took it on a 7,000 mile road trip. And now we're trying to fix it and we're going on another road trip. So hopefully it'll make it back from this and I can start using it as a parts runner. You know, it got to break down. What are you doing? Are you gonna, gonna come pick me up if we break down? No, I'm gonna sit here, work on the little mini bike. All right, where's our new one, Ralph? Right here. I'm so excited about fixing this thing. I've been wanting to fix Wait, it for like weeks. Wait, is that Mary about to go out? 
Oh, oh. the ball fell. Look at that. The, uh, the, the little ball, ball bearings in there. Nice. There's no telling how many miles we drove this. With it With it up. just about to go out. Because I, I remember hearing like a little noise. Look where the blades were rubbing the case in the front. Ooh. I mean, it's still, you can't, look, uh, try to turn that. It's heavy. Oh. Can I try? Can I try? Yeah, there's no way. Don't hurt yourselves, please. Okay. Ah, okay. I'm good. Wow. All right, the car. Wow. Okay. Wow. So you got the same plug? Yes, it's exactly identical. It is the same. Severe damage will occur. Okay. What are y'all gonna do while we're going? Uh, with my keyway, advanced timing keyway for my mini bike comes in. I'll work on that. You and Matt Yeah. <laughs> then been... I'm gonna take the mud flaps off and put some bigger casing on. He's been doing nothing but messing with his mini bike lately. That's his new obsession. Well, it, it's finished. Come on. Well, what are you gonna do? T-shirt orders? Ah, uh, yeah, probably actually. You mean we have a website? TheSleeperDude.com. Mm, go check it out. Go buy our fire merch. We're doing a $500 Holly gift card giveaway. Go check it out. TheSleeperDude.com. Every order is a chance to win. Squeeze. What are you going to be doing when we're gone? I will probably be a couch potato or I will be painting. What's That's new? That's literally what you do already. Yeah. They actually did not put the back bolt in the last time they put an alternator on it, but there was a zip tie through the hole. Hey, that's all you need. I, yeah. I don't really feel bad about it. Was it was the first bolt I picked up. I just found it in a random tray. Yeah. We don't have many metric bolts around here. We need to get some more metrics, don't we? <clears throat> we just don't work on much stuff with metric bolts. Except for my beetle. Y'all both use the same ridiculous voice. <laughs> did you pick up where on that? Where did they get that from? I don't know where they got it from. <laughs> Push harder. Well, hold on a second. That's my left hand, too. This ain't did working. you self tan your wrist? No. <laughs> listen, no, it really, guys, listen. Okay. <laughs> so, it was on a squeeze. hair bow. It was, on a ha it was like a, ha a hair tie or whatever, and I put it on. I had a jacket on, so I couldn't see that it was, you know. Turning colors? Turning colors. Like, I don't even know what happened. I, like, picked up, and then I seen she that thought, there was. She thought something was medically I thought, wrong. I, I thought there was something wrong with me. I was like, what the heck? How long is this bolt? Forever. Look. Look at that. Don't don't long for it, man. Come on, that's such expensive. Oh, it's still the drop in. I got the alternator tightened up. We put a bolt in the back that it didn't have there. Everything's plugged in. Yeah, there's a fuel line right there. You passed it a long time ago. Oh. A few miles back, you passed it. Yeah. Right. Get up on the alternator. All right, you gotta get on the power steering as well. Oh. It's on the oh, there it is. Are we good? Yep. Go. Ralph, we hook the battery back up. We'll try it. What is this? Trash you're watching. We've got out of washer fluid. You mean bleaking fluid. Oh, that's right. Alright, who wants to start? Me? No, me. Well, Walt broke it, so I don't know if he should. I know, right? <laughs> I got in earlier and I'm like, man, I remember that smell. Man, we're about on the peg, son. She got gas in it. Better. We ain't gonna make it. Uh, it's almost three quarters of the tank. Why do you keep gas in it? I don't know what she's I'm doing. Like, what are you doing? Oh, she, oh, she likes watching the gauges go up. Yeah. Stop. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus, help us. A little bit. A little. Oh, it gets me every time. You think you get used to it. I know. Let's see what 7,000 miles worth of dirty oil looks like here. Oil. I don't know oh, she black. Pretty black. We knew it would be. I mean, it went about double what it should have on the oil change. Yeah. Which it has synthetic in it, so really not double. I need more than that goes all the way up to the top, you know, for like a lift. A lift makes it so much nicer doing stuff like this. Very thankful for my lift. Over the side. We didn't know that's what happened. All right, we're gonna get the oil filter off here. <clears throat> I need like another drain pan to catch this. Mm. I feel like I'm gonna get it everywhere if I don't. Oh, oh, someone is making it in the pan. Okay, I think I'll put it to the brim again on accident. Thanks, Ralph. Ralph, come on, bro. I was Wait, just trying to make sure it's filled I up. I specifically said don't fill it to the brim. Michael Blue Boy. Here we go. 
Let's see dark. Well, it saw very severe temperatures, I'm sure, because we were going fast and it was, I mean, 115 on some days. Oh yeah, Phoenix was like 115. Yeah, it, it was like a hot It saw ride. some hot temperatures on the engine oil, I'm sure. I've seen something hot too. You like this look? <laughs> I might take this on the trip with us. Oh, please do. I didn't think I'd ever get it away from Mike the other day. He wanted it. Oh, it's still dripping. You really want to screw it back on while it's still draining black oil out. Oh, I didn't notice that. You don't want to wait, you know? We ain't got time for that, do we? No. Now, school team boy, you better hurry up with this. <laughs> well, I'm the only one that can fill this without spilling it everywhere, so figured I'd do it. Most of you probably already know this, but I always run 540 synthetic diesel oil. In all my cars that I race or daily drive, I've ran that for like 15 years. Had a mechanic tell me that years and years ago and just always stuck with it. It's supposed to have better additives, especially for like flat tappet cams, which this is a roller cam engine. It's not as big a deal, but I just do it on my daily driver stuff because we drive a lot of miles. Well, I want you crank it up. We'll let it circulate a little bit and we'll check it and see if we need to add any more. I put about five quarts in it, about because I don't know what Ralphie put in. He just picked up a random jug and started pouring. It don't take much, just enough to fill the system up and We'll let it drain you for a minute and check it. Ralphie's airing up my casings for me. He says it's about three PSI low. Now it's three PSI high. 28, it only went up one PSI. One Uncle Si, what? Three PSI. Oh. It looks like we're about half a quart low still, so. The jug Ralphie had must have been a little low. 35 in the back and 30 in the front, so. I'm gonna get them set. That air filter. Up through the desert. I need to buy a like, washable one, don't I? Yeah. We did the same thing before we headed out west. Yeah, we did. Because I was going to buy a washable one before I left. I couldn't find one anywhere. Well, we checked over our basic fluids. I think we're good. I guess we're going to clean this thing up and we'll have it ready for the trip. All right, back it off there, Ralphie. Now I love wagons. We're gonna have to add some stickers to it on this trip. The Dealey Plaza is the only one that didn't hold up. It ain't even been outside. Well, he looks at me while he's backing up. 3X zoom. I'm gonna pass all behind the wheel here. He looks right at home driving that thing. You're good. I gotta make it to Florida on that thing. Shut it off. Yeah, you gotta give them whiskers the extra go at her. Yeah. All right, let's wash it. Oh, and by the way, mom's daily drivers broke down right now too. So it's not like we have that option either. Bye, well, as you know, we've been using Sweet Patina products lately. We try to help support them because they're a US based family owned company. We're gonna use their Berry Licious Bubble Wash and Shine. So never used it yet. We'll see how it goes. Oh, wow. Smells good. If you go to sweetpatina.com and use code SLEEPERDUDE, you'll get 5% off your order. Can't beat that. Woo! It's a little bit sad to me. This may still have Tombstone, Arizona dust in uh, it. I guarantee she does. I love the glass roof on this thing. That's like one of my favorite parts. It smells like bubblegum, doesn't it? Yeah, she was like nosy rosy inching forward to it. I knew it was gonna happen, so I was just waiting. Mm. They hate water. They don't even get out in the rain. That's true. Rocky, man, if it's a sprinkle, he's out. <laughs> With his head shaking his head like yeah. he's on fire or something. All the bikes in the Honda dealership are the same price. What you picking? How many times a day does he give you a what you picking? Uh, a lot. How about a monkey? On the monkey week. What are you picking is the question. Grom. Where? Oh, that last one again. There's a couple of rules Manny's live by. One of those is don't go on vacation with dirty casings. If your hoops got brake dust all over them, 
clean it up before you go, if nothing else, right? Says the guy who claims that a pool is a shower on vacation. It You're is. worried about casings it is being clean? Ralph, is it a shower? Yes. Exactly. We got 7,000 miles of dealing with Squeezy in this car. She uh, made quite the mess in the back seat with all her beads and slime and glitter and stuff. We're not gonna bore you with the details. We're gonna set the time lapse up and clean the interior out of this thing. Too bad the one that made the mess isn't even here to clean it up, huh? Exactly. Yeah, the girls went to a church function, so it's just us three. Well, we got her cleaned up with Jamal's help. He's inspecting everything. The old car held up pretty good considering Squeeze was right in the back. I figured out she was stashing her Uncrustables crust in the door panel. So that was nice of her. Wow. Look at that back seat though. You gotta love these cars. Me and mom will probably drive with the seats folded down though, honestly. Look. Jamal. All right. Jamal already. That's the whipping. We worked out here late enough that the lights came on. That's when you know, time for go home. Mom told us, gotta be home when the lights come on. Well, we're gonna get this thing packed up and head out. It's actually a couple days till we leave, so we will see you guys when we head out. All right, it's time for us to leave. We're taking the kiddos to school. The wagon is completely loaded down with t-shirts. We gotta make a delivery before we leave. Who's gonna miss me the most? Uh, me. Who's gonna miss mom the most? <laughs> and Wall's not gonna miss nobody? No, she's like glad they're gone. Freedom! <laughs> Y'all gonna be hanging out with me, me, and Mamaw <laughs> this week, so. Yeah. Well, we're gonna miss y'all. Okay? Yeah. A little bit. But don't worry, we'll see you in five days. Be good. Maybe in time. Don't be riding my dirt bike. Gotcha. Oh, definitely. Sure. I will. Love you, Squeeze. Yeah. Bye. 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 All right. Sorry. If you've ever heard me speak of Wawa listens to obscure music no one's ever listened to, <laughs> here we go. I don't know don't what do this it. is. I don't know what this <laughs> is. Never heard this in my life. Well, tell Florida you said hi. Oh, yeah, tell her. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. This is why we could not drive the wagon to school. Look at this. We took two loads before this. This is the third load. Once we get this sent off, we can pack our car. <laughs> It's very unusual for us to not be leaving super early in the morning. Yeah, all right, late at night or super early in the morning. Yeah, we never leave like this. It's gonna be probably nine o'clock or something before we're gone. Yeah, it'll put us in Atlanta lunch. That'll be cool. Oh my gosh. Do we have to go to Atlanta this Yeah. This is like the tiniest post office in the country. They're gonna freak out. So thank you to everybody that yes. ordered. We really appreciate it. And thank you to the post workers that are so nice and yes. take our stuff for us. Yes. All right, let's get on the road. Well, we're packed a lot lighter than normal, that's for sure, huh? Look at all this space in here. We could literally just sleep in the wagon if we have to. We got a beach chair. We can't figure out how to disassemble after we assembled it. It's just me and the wife and Randall on this trip. That's all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Better not lose anything this time. What? You got the grippers out, don't you? Don't you worry about my grippers? Look at that, already, already driving barefoot just with the toes. <laughs> no, you're already going over 80. Come on now. I'm not making the GPS. That's the whole thing. No, it's not a race. If you, it is a race. No. It is. Just like any good my wife's family trip, uh, we got to get gas immediately. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think we would have done this before. We should have. You should have been ready. You weren't ready. There goes all my money. Does this feel right at home after all them miles you drove I out west? I what it was like at steerwell. It's just like butter. You know, that's her little dime. Oh, yeah. We got over 500 miles to drive today, so Marge is going to put her in gear and foot to the floor. I'll be interested to know what kind of fuel mileage it gets now because we're not running the air conditioning and stuff. It's not loaded to the max, you know. And it's not so hot. Yeah, we'll see what kind of mileage it gets going down oh, here. Lord, I don't know what this new rattle is, but we got something rattling on the floor. Hopefully that doesn't get any worse. Snacking has commenced. The things we never eat at home. Anytime we go on a trip like this, we buy stuff that we never eat at home because we can't keep this stuff around. Well, we're getting off here because mom don't want to drive through Atlanta. Fire drill. <laughs> oh, we 
we're gonna make good time now. Oh yeah, like half time maybe. Well, you think I drive slow or something? Exactly. What's really funny is, especially these last couple of events we've done, I've realized that I'm so much more aggressive on a racetrack than you, but you're so much more aggressive than me on the road. It's like we're total opposites. That's true, total opposites. Wawa would like being here. Right. She loves the big cities, but I hate the traffic. When she was a baby, she called this New York City. Oh, yeah. Fire truck blocking the highway. It's a parking lot. Mom's asleep. Look at that. We got a fellow Caprice right here. He just went by and gave us a thumbs up. He loves it. Yeah. <laughs> Marge just woke up now. Apparently me driving through Atlanta meant me driving through Atlanta and Macon. So we're coming out of Macon right now. We still got like over half a tank of fuel. This thing's just a fuel sipper, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, I've added 20 minutes to our time, me driving. Absolutely. So we got about four hours left to drive. It says we'll be there about 5.30 p.m. closer we got peaking signs no where we come from it's pecans Pecan. you start getting all these crazy signs getting into florida looks abandoned over here it is you know i love my abandoned stuff mom says it's time to eat it's like close to three o'clock now we skipped lunch you were asleep during lunch we're somewhere i don't know between macon and valdosta you're passing all the fancy places honey you got straight up fancy it's been like two years since you take me to eat every lobster. Yeah, everybody wondered on our road trip why we didn't eat at fancier restaurants. First off, there's five of us. So it's very expensive to yeah. go to a sit-down restaurant. But the real main thing was we were on a road trip. We had to get going. Go, gotta get going. This is more of a destination trip, so a little different. And it's just us two. Oh son. Should we take one home with her? Releasing it back to the wild or something. I bet they come here every Monday at 2.30, right after they leave the YMCA for swim yoga. They got their biscuits figured out, don't they? Heavenly. You're so fancy, look at your shrimps. Chicken at a seafood place. <laughs> Chicken Alfredo. Yeah. She'll never figure this out. What is this mess? Oh, it was great. It's been too long, hasn't it? It's the bomb, yes. That's your go-to, Red Lobster, huh? I know, it's awesome. They got them big alligator fences down here. You know, them alligators can jump real high. Well, Marge has already ran all the fuel out of this fuel. Shoot, we got 23 miles a gallon. Even with you going 15 over the whole way down here. Just imagine what it could get with me behind the wheel. Oh, yeah. 10 and 2, 10 and right. 2. A lot of that these days, abandoned shopping malls. Yeah. It's kind of sad. That was camper. Malls just aren't what they used to be when we were kids. Man, we are already in Florida. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even know we were this close. That's hilarious. Woo! <laughs> Your home country, right? I love it. Even though you didn't come here until you were like... <laughs> yeah. Me and my dad used to come to Florida every year to the Daytona turkey run, starting when I was like in middle school, but mom didn't come here really until she was older we came here the month after we got married and i think that was your first time going to florida as except for like i think you went when you were a baby right yeah, but you don't remember, don't remember it so we get out of the oreos and <laughs> she gets an oreo and puts her gum in here and it looks like it looks like oreo <laughs> goodness so i pick it up and chomp it thinking oh i found a big ball of <laughs> icing and it's her chewing gum her used chewing gum <laughs> so i put it in my mouth and realized this is not icing and she has got so cracked up over it <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, that's so good! Ah. Oh my god! You know it's, she won! It's, it's used chewing gum. Oh my gosh, I can win the lottery! Don't do that! I can't wait to tell the kids 
Well, we are coming into Jacksonville, Florida, which is the largest city in the 48 states of the United States. Did you know that? I did not know that. It's a huge city. It's not the biggest by population, but it's the biggest okay. by land mass. Okay. Yeah. The entire population of the world could fit in it if they were standing shoulder to shoulder. Wow. That's what I heard, at least. I think we're on our first saltwater, Mom. Oh. All the palm trees down there. Yeah. Or maybe you shouldn't look. Love that old drawbridge. Yes, it's dried up. We're about to be at the coast, I think, soon. She's ready to see the beach. I'm ready to quit driving, I don't know. <laughs> Cop on our six. You better be doing everything right. Oh, my. Just a disclaimer, none of this is sponsored, by the way. We pay for the motel room, we pay for the food. So it's your honest opinion on St. Augustine. These houses are all boarded up. There's something we don't know. Yeah, I love these trees. We don't have trees like this where we live. Look at those houses. Man, beautiful houses. You can barely see them for our speeds, but if you pause the video, you can see. Lord Almighty. Look at that big old bridge. bridge. Didn't know I was going to do that. Yeah, it's pretty out there. little boats. Whoop. Oh, this is swank swank, isn't it? Wow. Look at the ocean. We made it. There it is. There's something special about going to the ocean, isn't it? Yes. Out there, Hampton Inn. See, it ain't. Oh, it is by Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you're like, oh, see, it ain't. Oh, it ain't them. Oh, wait. Right. It kind of is. Why don't you get us the Magic Beach Motel with the rabbit out of the hat? No, thank you. That's awesome. It smells like the ocean, doesn't it? Well, she did good. Over 500 miles today without I'm back right now. a single Damn. problem. Yeah. Parking. She's yeah. a beaut, Clark. You just about ran out of daylight today, huh? Okay, it's okay. We're going to check in so we don't get towed and then we'll go see the beach. Yeah, that'd be good. I love the magic hotel over there. We should have definitely stayed there. You can stay there if you want to. Swank. They got a waffle maker. Go check out them Cubans. <laughs> I think I got two or three maps in there. Yeah. Gotta know where I'm at. I bet that motel was built like in the 50s or something. All one level like that. All right, let's go see the beach. I guess they're doing some work over here. It's closed. So you can just stay by the beach all day. Yeah. Why's it got a stop sign? Dangerous drop off. Man, it's got a lot of waves, huh? Wow. Oh, look at the erosion underneath that. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Look at all the shells. Look at all these shells. Washed all this out. So it used to probably look totally different. People out there in the water. Man, it's pretty. The sun's already pretty much gone down and it's not really cold out here. It's actually pretty nice. Ooh, jellyfish. Step high, yeah. She just loves this stuff. What did you say? I said she loves this stuff. I do love it. This is what, like this is your here. kind of vacation. I'll huh? see you Friday, Friday morning. <laughs> she don't ever want to leave the beach. No. I like coming down the beach for like 10 minutes. Is this a wedding? Every, Every single time we yeah. went to like the beach, we see a wedding. Yeah. Probably the sixth time that's happened to us. And there's a lot of seashells here. She gets some grippers out. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Where was it we went and they had the crazy ones? It was like uh, Clearwater, Florida or something? This wind is getting me off balance. Oh, watch it, Marge. It's always funny to me when you see an RV parked at a motel. Must be having some issues, huh? <laughs> we'll get ours all sorted out one day. We already had this booked, though. Hey, nice. I'm so used to getting rooms with two beds. It's so weird to see one with one bed, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Did you break it? Uh, yeah, we always get rooms with two beds. And of course, Ralphie's bed. Exactly. <laughs> Did they nail it shut? Oh my God. They screwed it shut. You can't get on the balcony, they screwed it shut. That's, That's janky. They advertise it as a balcony room. Man, we're getting old, ain't we? What are you doing? <laughs> 
We can't open the window. <laughs> you know, we our can, balcony roof that the balcony don't open. We can hear. There's a fire jet going over. There's this ocean view though. Yeah, I can see the ocean. A little bit. <laughs> so it's the next day. We fell asleep watching PBS at 8.30 at night. <laughs> And uh, didn't wake up till seven. So what is that? Ten and a half hours sleep? That's the most sleep I've got in a long time. And we're matching shirts and we're fixing to get on a trolley. Is that why you say we're getting yeah, on? Yeah, we're definitely <laughs> getting on. Let's go find some breakfast. We're gonna go into like downtown St. Augustine where all the cool stuff is and uh, see what's there. I hope they beat us down here. At least they've got waffle makers. Talk about fancy. Well, it's weird not making waffles for five people. <laughs> I gotta just get my own waffle and I'm eating, it's weird. The process is so much faster. Are you ready to see the town? Yes. It's beautiful out here this morning. It's very windy. Look how beautiful these trees. Wow. It is pretty. We have found it. We found the fountain of youth. Open day nine oh, to five. open yet. Imagine Are we here before that. it opens? Imagine that, every Imagine single that. time. Well, we got parked here. I think we're next to the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, which I'd like to go to. It's the very first one they ever built in 1950. When Robert Ripley died, his stuff was sold at auction and the guy who bought most of his stuff opened the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum here in St. Augustine. It was the very first one. We're gonna get on the trolley here when they start running. Are you getting pictures of a flag? Is that what you just did? Now you just get some plants and we'll be good. As it gets warmer in the day, I think we're gonna go back to the beach this evening, so. Mom get her beach time in. Oh, the trolley's here. You ready? We're loading up. Let's see what this town's all about. All right, Busy man. day here. Squeeze would like this. Now we come into the Abbott District. This was the first neighborhood that was built north of the downtown area. Circa 1867 when development really kicked off. Said 129 it's homes here were built by the same woman. 208 foot iron cross that stands here given to St. Augustine for our 400th birthday from the Vatican. It marks the spot of the very first Catholic Mass in the New World from here. This tree is about 700 years old. Wow. Whoa. Uh, it's also considered what's called a love tree. Wow. There's about eight of these uh, love trees in town. Uh, none as grand as the center itself. And look at the house in there. This is a fountain of views. Uh, the Spanish learned how to make tabby. But they found that if you put the oysters, all that sediment, that kind of... This is where the original settlement was. So this is the we're oldest ready. store oh, museum here. And this is the jail so from the 1890s to the 1950s. And it's free to park here if you want to park here and take the trolley. Good to know. Prisoners would have to stay in those train cars at night. Jumping that way back machine. Let's go all the way back to the year 1513. And then a pinpoint hits exact location. Pops pulled over in a sense and washed ashore somewhere in this area. And he called it La Florida after the Easter season of flowers in Spain called Pascua de Flores. So this is the first place it was called Florida. Gold, silver, spices, this is the spot they landed in 1565, making this the oldest city in West the United the States. When Menendez found the French on a beach stand just south of here, they were starving and dehydrated. Now if you keep on looking over to the left, you're going to see the Castillo de San Marcos. But if we look just beneath it, you're going to see a wooden wall that Castillo runs de San Marcos it. Fort. Colomado Cemetery. This is where all the Catholics would have been laid to rest in Colonial St. Augustine. America's first wax museum. Stop here and see the great job that our art department does wow. here at Potter's So Protestants were buried here and Catholics were buried back About there. About 87 gravestones inside this that This was outside cemetery. the city limits. Don't let that fool you. Essentially just a mass grave clay pit, if you will. 15 to 30 bodies uh, per headstone. Or the last person dropping that plot with your name forever etched in stone there. Maybe wow. That. City gates, they were erected in 1808. They're made of the same coquina stone as the Castillo de San Marcos that lies just straight ahead. Oh, this is really cool. Now here at stop number four, we are at the north end of St. George Street. All kinds of history, shopping and dining to be found here. So but there's the four right there. 1586, Sir Francis Drake, a pirate under assignment of the British Crown, Burns the handle of St. Augustine. Nice, 55. 
It's made of 450,000 bricks of coquina stones. Built in and all the 1620s. That was as soon as they were hit, all the Spanish had to do was walk outside. It's really pretty building. Put a little message on it. Well, Draw a bridge built in the 1920s. Farm and Faithful is also the motto of St. Augustine. Us, you will look at 10 hotel parking lots for an hour. But uh, it can take you out to the alligator farm or maybe... All the church has stood right here since 1797. But the church, like everything else in town, it burned down in 1887. Henry Flagler was one of the founders of the Standard Oil Company. You might know that business today as Exxon Mobil. Uh, Standard Oil College. doesn't exist anymore. They got in trouble with like monopoly issues at the uh, early part of the 20th century. So the monopoly guy, that's pretty much exactly what he looked like. Big handlebar mustache, Beautiful. black and white hair, even wore a top hat. And the front doors of this church made of solid mahogany and steel. Wow. We're going to get into the construction of it. That's this church. Another thing that Flagler did when he got here was purchase a railroad. Henry Flagler wow. had nothing to disturb it while it was being played. This church is built in memory of Henry Flagler's daughter, Jenny Louise. She passed away shortly after giving birth to a daughter who also passed away in the labor process. 5,000 piece pop Louise organ. is entombed inside with baby Marjorie cradled in her arms. This is also the final resting place of Mr. Flagler and his first wife. Beautiful no, building. This used this to be a hotel Ponce de Leon. Now it's a college. Thomas Edison built a dynamo here electricity for electricity. Back, That's incredible. So once these people saw electricity for the first time, they got kind of scared. They would have stuttered with another wall. In 1888, when this opened, you had to pay nine thousand dollars to stay here and pay for the whole season. You couldn't just rent it for one night. The middle section right here, that sheeting you see over the windows there, is bulletproof glass. There to protect more than 134 billion dollars for the Tiffany stained glass just in that room alone. It's more to protect it from like hurricane force winds. I don't think they're really expected to drive by or anything like that. Chains like this were actually used by Spanish militia in the colonial era. Um, in times of siege, the, the, the Spanish would pull chains like this across the river, and if any enemy ships were to come in unannounced, they'd crack hold their holes on chains like this and would either tie the ship. Beautiful building. Gotta get a GED. Yeah. 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 And if this is going to stand the test of time, Henry Flagler, that I say I'm standing on this pedestal right here, is going to need a new approach to its construction. Which residence here in 1883, the Via Serrata. But if we really want to see the lines of poured concrete here, start looking at the red bricks. Especially along the corner, we get some time for the second season of its grand hotels. Flagler opened up his party house, the Hotel Alcazar, December 25th, 1888. The statue that we find on the left-hand side is that of uh, Pedro Menendez, the founder of St. Augustine, September 8th, 1565. But see, this was more the everyday man's place. A person could have gotten a room here for the night. You could have gotten a room here for about $3 a night, equivalent to about $75 a night today, not so bad. Then you had gymnasium, Turkish and Russian dry and wet saunas. Eventually it had a movie theater, a bowling alley, and even had a casino. But the best piece of all was this rounded structure coming up right here. What was once the world's largest indoor swimming pool? Wow. First this is the first American town built for emancipated slaves after the Civil War. Wow. Ray Charles, at the tender age of 14, used to sing and play music at a little tavern down back here. Wow. And this uh, church right here, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., would give sermons and speeches whenever he came to town. Martin Luther this King marched on this Avenue road. Back in the they named it after him. There's a church One of only two in the country that he actually marched on. Like that. Cool. So took all the water that was produced First power plant in Florida. And once it really started getting into business, this place started making 10 tons of ice every day. Their own cars. It's far too hot. No natural resources, no real way to get rich quick. That's what California you need. Because of the gold rush. 27 stars because of the 27 states. So this is the first depot to go south towards Miami and Key West. So, um, Flagler develops uh, the first section of the railroad between Jacksonville and This is the crypt that holds the, the Flagler family. Wow. There's one this is the guy that basically built the city. That was on the other side you of the huh? line, a few 
look at the size of this palm tree right here. This abatement. There was originally a wall here. This is the end of the city back in the day. And the earth would protect their bodies from any munitions that would happen. This is the parking garage here, which is like right in the center of town. I think we're gonna get off here, walk around. I guess we're gonna go in the visitor center here. That's a good way to see the town, though, isn't it? It is. Because like I, we'd never drive all I'm them not roads. Not even a history person, but I definitely yeah. recommend it because you see all the stuff and learn about it, and then you can figure out what you without want to figuring do. out all the roads yourself. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty tight. I don't know how park. he drove that thing through that. Figure out how where to park if it's free parking or Come on. Take it from March, guys. Look, pottery from the 1500s. Wow. So I guess this is stuff they found when they were digging around here. This sword was found in the Florida Keys. It was underwater for 350 years. It was lost during like a hurricane. Look how all that formed over the handle. That's wild, isn't it? It is. Oh, they got a lot of artifacts here. That wooden bowl. This is a picture of where it was found. This was a wood drill and a copper kettle. A horseshoe. Pretty neat place. Just come in here for free and look around. So we're going to walk over here to like the downtown area. I don't know what it's called really, but Fort's straight ahead of us. Ripley's is over there. There's the welcome center. Mom gets confused on where she's at, so I got to keep her pointing in the right direction. This is the original city gates from 1739. It was the only access into the city. We're going to go into Castillo de San Marcos. This is what it looks like from the sky. So pretty crazy looking for it. So if you didn't know, Florida was owned by Spain for like 500 years. And they built a bunch of forts and stuff like this right here. But this was their original landing area was right here. Did we get a map? There's the map. There you go. Oh, man. Good deal. Make sure you know where we're at. Yeah, I don't want to get lost in the fort. Look at this moat. They say on the trolley tour that goats and chickens would live in here when they were under siege. And they could, I guess, come down here and get a goat or chicken when they needed one. Yeah, pretty cool. This would have been hard to get in back in the day for sure. The bridge was up. Look at the insignia above the door. How neat is that, huh? It's got a copper roof over it even. Yeah, it's like how our kids sleep on trips. <laughs> Wow. you imagine this filled with people with goofy outfits and swords and stuff? Yeah, sounds like a good time to me. Yeah, pretty neat. Here's a Spanish bronze cannon from 1764. It says every cannon was individually cast. No two are alike. So they would put different names on them and everything, every single cannon. I wouldn't have thought that. I love the rounded roof. Look, these were made into the walls to hold holy water. They dipped their fingers in holy water. Wow, this is what they dress like over the years. Pretty much everyone looks ridiculous. <laughs> so I guess when they landed here, they would have been dressed like that. Oh wow, a cannon exploded. Ooh. That'd be a bad deal, huh? Exploded yeah. cannon. Wow, all their stuff for their food and gunpowder and stuff to load the cannon. Man, a different way of living back then. Yeah, for sure. Harder. I don't think them pigeons was in here. They're up there squawking at us. Whoa. I guess this is the original gate. Wow, huh? The coat of arms, I guess that's what I saw. It's called coat of arms. So these doors were put in 1821 and stood for 150 years. We're going up to the top now. It costs $15 for an adult to get in here, if you're wondering. I think if you're a senior, though, it's cheaper. Or... Oh, wow. Preview. Man, beautiful, isn't it? See, our, our motel's over there. Bellano? Bellano or something like that. We're staying right over there, though. That's me in five years. And see, there's Flagler College over there. We saw... Look at the iron straps around the hoops there. I never realized they were all individually cast. I just figured they mass produced these things. They changed the writing on them on every single one. I want a view of the town. Look at the wedges they would put in there depending on which angle they wanted on this thing. It's pretty neat. Guess that's a mortar over there. 
So everybody in St. Augustine moved in the fort in 1702 because there was a siege. And they lived in here for two months and they sat here and watched them burn their entire town down to the ground. The only thing that was left was this fort. Marge is just taking in the ocean over there while I'm walking around looking at history. Man, these are so cool. So intricate. It's incredible how they were able to make them. I love these corners, man. It's so neat. I guess the lookout would be up there watching for uh, ships to come in from the ocean. Taking in the ocean breeze. Oh, you browning, girl. You browning. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes. That was pretty neat. It's very beautiful. Beautiful fort, yeah. We're gonna walk into the middle of this mess and see what's up. Might get something to eat. It's getting like past lunch for us. Good thing we didn't bring Mimi. She'd be buying all these knickknacks. I bought her a knickknack already. I knew it. Oh, all the wind chimes, she'd be all over it. I love these streets. So cool, huh? Mm -hmm. St. George's Row, look at this building. Look how deep this is. Oh, it's nice in here too. Look, I got some Morgan silver dollars and some Buffalo nickels. I told Tosh, I wish I would have had one when we went to Buffalo Bill's grave. This is just an excuse to go back. I know. I know. Yeah, these are only like 25 cents, so it's not bad. Well, I guess we're going to get something to eat down here at Augie's. Been recommended that by the folks around here. There's so many little alleyways you can go in and places to buy stuff. It's pretty neat. Oh, here's the oldest wooden schoolhouse. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Here it is. Don't look too expensive. That Flagler College is beautiful. They say, Did you see it? So there's bulletproof glass in front of the Tiffany glass? Yeah, yeah. So they had millions of dollars of glass in it. it cost $140,000 to go to school there, it said. So I got the Philly cheesesteak quesadilla. And Tosh, she loves her hamburgers. So was it good? Mm -hmm, awesome. Mine's good too. Well, we have walked from downtown area over close to our car now. Here's another shot that Ripley's Believe It or Not place. This was built in 1887. So it was a very rich man's winter home. He was friends with the Rockefellers and the Flaglers. This was his hangout during the winter time. We got us a sticker for St. Augustine. We'll see if mom can get on there straight. Ralphie would be making so much fun of me. He would. I like that one. That's pretty cool looking. Right here? Sure. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> First one since the big trip. Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. Mom says it's time to go to the beach. Mm-hmm. It's warmed up enough. It's starting to get hot. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. yeah. You gotta get that breeze going, huh? That's right. So this is A1A, which goes right down the coast of Florida. And our room is over here. We got two fighter jets flying over. Man, I bet that is a ride. Tosh, they might let you ride in that. I would literally die. <laughs> I to ride it. I know I could. Uh, I think I would love it. There's a bunch of them went by before. They must have a military base here. Well, I walked around out there. Man, it is choppy, choppy right now. Not really good for swimming. I guess that's where we're going to be for the foreseeable future. Jets keep flying over one after the other. Well, it's been a few hours. I've had about enough beach and sun, so Marge is going to sit out here in the sand and sun, soak it up. I'm going to go back to the room and do a little work. Hey, my room key didn't work, so I had to go to the front desk again. Get a new room key. Did you get burnt, Marge? A little bit. We didn't hear working. Working. It's supposed to be at the beach. I, I am. I can see it from right oh, here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you carry that big yes, chair? Yes, I had. A, I had to water my chair all the way back. Everybody well, looking at me. We we got a chair that you had to put together, and it's I like wasn't impossible to, to put together. Yeah, I wasn't gonna try to take it apart. So she's carried it all the way up here. You carried this <laughs> yes, in the elevator. And yes. The it's probably there. got sand not still on it too. It's like impossible to get together. Did you fall asleep? Like seventy eight times. <laughs> it's been like what? Three hours or something? It's been yeah, a while. You ready oh, yeah. to go see some more stuff? That's right, let's go. All right, let's go. We keep going yeah. to the car and people are like, oh, we love your car. Everywhere we, everywhere we go or pull up at. Yeah, some guy this morning was like, I had forgot how long they are. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's longer than my truck. It is long, yes. Look how it's tore out all the way to the road. Tore out underneath the foundation of that house. Wow. Man. I bet there was houses that were here up up here that are gone now. Oh, it looks like there's something hanging out to her anyway. Yeah, look at that. That's scary. Man, that's the only bad thing about being on the coast. Isn't it? 
Yeah. Well, we parked back where we did this morning, right here by Ripley's, and we're gonna walk around, see what downtown looks like in the evening. Venturing out. Well, hat company. I like hats. That's what I need. I'm a cowboy. So, Lyndon Johnson did a speech from that balcony right there at that hat company. That's pretty cool. Hey, they had an Indiana Jones hat. I thought about getting it. I'd never wear it. I just like you it. You wear it all the time. You know you would. Prehistoric fossils. Right up my alley. Ooh, cool. Fossil like Jurassic Park. Like with the insect in the amber. Mm. Man, that is mammoth tusk. It's $50,000. I don't think I've ever seen one for sale, though. <laughs> So if I haven't said, this is the oldest city in the United States. So this city was settled in 1565, and I think Jamestown was settled in like 1607 or something. So yeah, oldest city in the United States. Oh no. I bought you one of them 20 years ago and you let it die. You'd still have it if you just sprayed water on it. Man, those are neat, huh? So this is the Peck House. It says the walls were built in 1750. So this is like 16 years older than the United States itself. It's incredible. The forever tourist here. Got my air plant. Air That's plant. Really cute. Well, Hopefully we'll not. see if this one lives. I'll do better this time. Yeah, I'll do better. That's her motto. I'll do better. It's another one of these little nooks in here. It's pretty cool. Good. Yeah. Good it's pretty neat how it's built in here. These are probably really old. You can dress up like a pirate every day. I don't know if your employer would let you dress like that at work. <laughs> We've walked down here to the governor's house, which our trolley tour came through here and we didn't get to see it much, but this is called the plaza, which I guess is like the center of all of this. Yeah, this was St. George Street we were on right there. It's kind of like the happening place. It says this building right here was started in 1605. It was like a guard house or whatever, and it was later an auction house. Really old stuff here. They have maps all over town, which you know I like that. So we started up here, we walked all the way down to here and over. This is one of like 36 Spanish colonial houses still left here. We're coming here a little late, I think. It looks like a lot of this stuff is closed down already. All these houses down through here, I guess, are famous colonial houses. There's just a lot of pretty houses here. Even the modern looking ones look pretty. This is the O'Reilly house here, built in 1691. Man, it's so old, huh? All of our uh, European viewers right now are like, that's not old. <laughs> I've got toothbrushes older than that. And did it with an Australian accent too, didn't I? You did great. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's for sale, Marge. Looks like every scary movie house. We're headed down here to see the oldest house in Florida. I usually do this to us. I'm like, it's just a couple streets over. And then we walk and we end up in like, you know, the hood or something. <laughs> <laughs> I love the shutters on the windows that are all antique. We've made it. This is the oldest house, I guess, in Florida. Looks like it's bowing out a little bit in the middle. I guess you can pay and do tours of it and stuff. It was originally just this bottom level, and the second story was added later on. Kind of incredible. It's still here. It does look a little bowed, though. We're making a loop back around. We've came all the way down, all the way back around. I love these porches out here. Me and Tosh both love wraparound porches. We just, we'd like to have a house of one one day. Yeah. It's beautiful out here by the water though. I couldn't imagine living right here. With tourists in your front yard, it'd be great. <laughs> We're right in the middle of everything by the bridge here. Somebody told us that south of Philly is a good place to eat. I think we're gonna hit it up. It's dinner time. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. These are the best loaded fries I've ever had. They have cheesesteak meat and bacon and ranch in them. And I don't normally like fries at all. And they're super good. People are gonna make so much fun of us for not eating seafood while we're here. <laughs> we're just not that much seafood people. You like a little bit of seafood. I don't like any seafood. Oh my gosh, there's so much food. Look, this was just half of it. And I took a bite out of that. We can't eat it at all. It's very good. So you might wanna split if you come here. Yeah. So this is a statue right in the center of everything right here at the bridge. So Juan Ponce de Leon landed near this spot in 1513. So he's the person who discovered Florida. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in Florida named after him. Taj just found a tame squirrel. <laughs> he just lives here and does squirrel things. Begs for tourists to feed him. 
I believe this is Charlotte Street. There's a lot of really cool buildings down through here too. I'm sure this is more lively on the weekends at yeah. night, but we're fine with this, yeah. I'd prefer no crowds. We got live music down here. I guess Jack Sparrow's down here. Ready, ready, ready. Oh my gosh. We've made it in one of these candy stores. Look, they got waffle makers here making the waffles for the waffle cones. Mom loves caramel apples. I like peanut butter fudge and pralines. I'm a snob when it comes to fudge, so the peanut butter fudge didn't pass my inspection. You're ridiculous. Texture's gotta be right. Well, that was fun. I think we're gonna come back tomorrow sometime and go to the Ripley's, believe it or not, museum. Thinking about going out to the fishing here in the morning, so we got some cool stuff we wanna do tomorrow. But right now we're just gonna head back to the room. All right, it's the next day. We stayed up till 10 o'clock last night watching PBS, a documentary about buffaloes. We're gonna see what we can find. Then we're gonna go down to the pier. You wanna go anywhere, Mom? They got an alligator farm, we'll see. We'll see. Hey, lucky you. That documentary is a two-part deal. It's still got two more hours. Doesn't matter how interesting the history is, Mom just checks out. Most of the time that stuff makes me so sad, I don't wanna watch it. <laughs> Sad that they did it is sad, yes, but it's the truth. So our room's right back there, and this is like a little peninsula. So right here is the marina. We haven't been out there yet. We're gonna go check it out. Maybe they're catching fish or something. We like seeing other people catch fish. Here, there's a pier. Now mom does like to fish. I love to but, fish. But she gets sick on a boat. I get sick on a boat. Yeah. I don't care about fishing or boats, honestly. Man, they got a big boat trailer, don't they? Now, something I love is like these fishing stores. And I like going out on the pier and watching what people caught and stuff, seeing them bring fish in. Fishing just, uh, it's not, it's too slow paced for me. Too hyper for that. Blano Beach Pier Pavilion. Somebody's out there fishing. That's a good picture there. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. He's got like six poles in the water. Man, that water is flowing fast. It's crazy how fast the water's moving through here. You can't really see down there though to see what's down there. You can see the top of Flagler College over there. Well, nobody's catching anything this morning. We're gonna go in the fishy fishy store just to look around. I like the big hooks and the big sinkers and stuff. Live bait. Live bait, exactly. Yeah, we ain't got no sinkers like that. Where we live, do we? Golly, look at that. I wouldn't even know what to do with this stuff. And look at that old machine. I like the Evan Rude outboard. The big buttons. I remember those. Wow. That's crazy. Look at those lures. They're huge. And this blows our mind every time we come to Florida. It's like that anything would bite that. Look at this, Tosh. Wow. 40 something dollar lure. What bites that? A shark? Plan B sure is looking good though. Does kind of look like a turtle. So this is something I didn't get a good shot of when we were on a tour the other day. This train car here was used for prisoners and they would leave them in it overnight. Days on end. Yeah, because it was too hard to bring them back to the jail at night. Wouldn't that be terrible? Yeah. Mom's wanting to go to the alligator farm. So we're going to the alligator farm. That's where we're headed. We're headed over the bridge of lines. And we haven't been over here at all. Go over this hundred year old bridge here. See right here, they draw it up in the middle. Those are so pretty. There's the lighthouse. I know you can like do tours there, I believe. And there's a museum over there. Are you ready for this? I'm getting excited. Mom loves her animals. We're the only people here. It's not open yet. <laughs> Uh-oh. You better watch out, Marge. First people here. We're gonna get a sticker or something probably. <laughs> Oh, it's a pretty big place. Yeah, that's an expensive showpiece out here. Those land cruisers are not cheap. I always thought they were cool though. The TikTok from the 2003 Peter Pan movie. Wow. You know I love my movie stuff. TikTok. Yeah. That's crazy. Little squirrels up there. <laughs> what is this, two cans of sand? Little baby gators. <laughs> oh, look how many is on the far side. I know. They just snap your little fingers off, that's what they do. I wonder how they act when they're babies like that. I don't know how mean they are when they're little. Man, that looks real. It's a little bit scary being at the gator farm. Oh, wow, an albino one. 
That's gotta be pretty rare, huh? I don't think so. They probably don't make it in the wild, being an albino. That looks like me at the beach yesterday. Man, he looks creepy. Oh, there's the big boys. Oh gosh, look how short their nose is. What would it cost for you to walk across that? I bet they move fast. They do move fast. Oh my gosh, there's so many over there. I didn't even see how many were over there. Look in the water. There's You'd never make water. it across it, would you? I'd be scared to death to walk across that. They're real full. Yeah, if they just ate maybe, you'd be good. There's probably 50 in there. Oh my gosh, he's so big. Wow. Look at him, he's looking at me. Look. He moved when I did that. Look at hog jaws here. <laughs> Golly, that's all he does in there, right there. Yeah. I'm surprised they can live together and not try to kill each other all the time. One's like laying on the other one's tail. I don't think it's gonna show on video how big that is. That thing is enormous. That's how they're such good hunters, isn't it? They just he don't move. Breathing. Nobody's moving an inch through here. But I guarantee you jump out there, somebody's gonna move. One of mom's favorite animals to see at the zoo is the tortoises. Oh, he popped his little head out. I'm kind of surprised you don't have a pet turtle. I don't know what the rules are on that. I need to get one. Look how fast he is. Whoa, it's like a big squirrel. What? I've never seen a squirrel that color. It's like a squirrel, but with racing stripes. <laughs> no. Who's humongous? If that was in our cabinet, I would just Burn move the house out. Down. I'll just move out. <laughs> We don't have to go in the reptile room. Do you reckon any of them get out of here? Mm, that's a Komodo. I had a Komodo dragon one time. <laughs> it's enormous down there. It looks like it's the size of my leg. Okay, all right, there they are. You saw them, and we're out. Oh, oh my gosh, he's right there. Look at those teeth. He's so big. Look at that big boy. I bet they can stay under there for like hours. I know he sees us. Oh yeah. Oh, they just tiny little guys. Oh, he's the real one that was stuffed, Tosh. That's video of him, yeah. This is the largest crocodile ever. Gomek, and he lived here. I think he died back in the 90s, but they he's stuffed him. World yeah, was he 17 and, and a half he was, feet? He was nice and calm, they could approach him. Yeah. Biggest crocodile ever. Wow. 17 feet, nine and a half inches and 2,000 pounds. He lived in the wild for 50 years off some islands in Australia. He used to be displayed in Australia. And then the guy who came up with the Nautilus weightlifting equipment bought him and brought him here to Florida. And then this park bought him from him and he lived here the rest of his days. Wow, incredible. Don't look at that, keep going, keep it, keep it moving. Lord. Yeah, you're above water and there's a bazillion alligators below us. How many alligators they have here? <laughs> and they're everywhere. This whole area is full. Oh, you can feed them, I think, Tosh. You gonna feed them? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. You give me dollars. I'm sorry, honey, I don't have any quarters. I just have Morgan Silver dollars. <laughs> you don't have a quarter either? No. Look, they think you're gonna feed them, Tosh. They're coming. They're coming over here and you ain't got nothing for them. Wow, they know what's going on. How do you even feed this many crocodiles? I couldn't imagine the amount of food they eat. There's just hundreds of them in this pond. He's got a stick on his back. He's trying to keep the jiggle. You can get a couple. Remember, sometimes you can get them M&Ms like that. Now you better make it count. Out there. What do you eat? He don't want it? Right on his nose. Look, he don't even want the food. Oh, he got it. I thought he Even wasn't even gonna eat it. Oh, they're quick. Eat it. He's you trying to all sniff the it out. That's his mouth. They're pretty quick movers, aren't right they? Check this one. Yeah, that's the one we just did, wasn't it? That's a different one. Give it the wiggle. Look at you. Let's get this figured out. Oh, hey, he got it. They're hungry. They don't believe <laughs> Look, they're missing completely. It's like you don't know where to look. look. It's literally in front of your nose. He still didn't get it. 
<laughs> they got it now. He thinks he's got it at least. It ain't that big, dude. <laughs> Look, they're all going for it now. I'm surprised those birds can hang out in there with them. I love him. Can't we so there's him? more than one. I see at least three. What are you doing? Oh Traveling. Oh my gosh, you're so big. They're probably older than our great grandparents. Hey. They should let you pet him, huh? Golly, he's so what big. What are you doing? I think that's the biggest one I've seen. I wish I had some food for you. Oh! Yeah, I wish I had some food for you. <laughs> we can be best friends. Check the perimeter again. We may left the door open. I bet he's like 500 pounds. Oh, there's the Ark of the Covenant. We found it. I guess there's a Nile crocodile right there. It's kind of hard to see though. Oh, it's a lemur. Is this King Julian? Well, I only had 24 hours to live. I want to become a professional whistler. What's he guys doing? I'm pretty amazing at it now, but I want to get like even better. These squirrels rule the place. There's squirrels everywhere. It's nothing personal. It's just that we're better than you. Well, these squirrels are zipping through here. I'm telling you, they're stealing everybody's food and running. That's squeezy in an animal form. Right. Look, they're grooming each other back there. Every time I see something like this, I think it bite you if you touched it. My mama done told me to get something for Daniel. Oh, well, they're just sitting on top of each other and everything. That may be the ugliest creature ever. Doesn't it look like his mouth isn't big enough to feed his body? What a weird looking animal. We've walked through the whole park and they're doing the show right now. Oh, snakes, okay. We're good, we're good. This is their pamphlets from back in the day because this park's been open since the 1800s. That's incredible, really. I hope they pass it around. Mm -hmm. no. This is the largest amount of alligators ever. And crocodiles. And crocodiles I've ever seen in one place. And you get really close to them. Now, you could jump that fence right now if you want I mean, to. Is it worth the money? Yes, I would say it's worth the money. I didn't want to pay for it at first because like, ah, it's kind of expensive, but... It's pretty cool. It's like what, thirty something dollars of an adult? Like Thirty three dollars an adult. Yeah, kids it's are a little, a little bit on the high side, but you get really close to animals. You heard it here first from Marge. <laughs> Where do you exit through? The gift shop. Always, always exit through the gift shop. That's a Crocs to a whole new level there, huh? <laughs> Can I my size? I might wear them, maybe. Yeah, That's kind of cool. Them. That's kind of cool. Crazy, this place has been here since eighteen ninety three. Wow. Mom got some gifts for the kids. You always gotta bring them a little something back. A little something. Here we are. It's crazy this was a private residence back in the day. This is a beautiful house. You gotta pay to park here. Even if you're going in, I guess. And it's five dollars an hour. Yeah, I didn't even make that in high school. That kind of stinks. You gotta pay to park for something yeah, you're going that's, into. That's Especially cool. by the hour. It's like the longer you stay, the more it costs I'm you. I'm sure this is not cheap in here as well. Okay, ma'am. This was a redwood tree cut down in 1938, 267 feet high and 14 feet around. And someone made a cabin out of it, out of one log. Look at this. Look how thick it is. Wow. What a cool camper, huh? I couldn't imagine what it would take to carve the center out of it. Yeah, that was a lot of work. Look at us. Kitchen and all. Look at that. I don't think we could fit there, but it's it pretty really cool. cool. Very cool. Really neat. All right, let's see what we can find inside. Something we can believe or not. This was the very first Ripley's Oddity Museum that was permanent. This was displayed back in the 1800s as an actual mermaid. Upper half of a monkey and a lower half of a fish put together. Thousands of people paid 25 cents to see it back in the 1840s. But this is an actual shrunken head. That horse is designed. How sweet! What are the odds of that? A horse with a heart on the side. Robert Wadlow at 18 years old. He was seven foot three at 13. Oh Lord. Wow. I think I went to school with that guy. I couldn't imagine what this looked like when it was a house. It's so cool. So this is a lot of the kind of stuff he would get. He would go overseas, buy weird stuff like this and bring it back and, and write about it in his newspaper stuff or his TV shows. He was like the most traveled man for his time. So this tortoise got impaled by a hippo and then lived. So that went all the way through him and he lived. For 15 years after that. So he brought this line back from Africa in 1934. Wow, a lot of crazy stuff. Space food from cosmonauts in Russia. Where would you even get that? That guy's made of money, literally. 
Look, honey, you can eat bugs. Well, I'm eating about it right now. I'm gonna do that. Eat you a bug. Crickets. Sounds good, huh? Am I in? Yeah, you're in, fucking head. So he brought this back in 1933. Oh, a picture show. But his favorite place to visit was Far East Asia. He was fascinated by it. Ripley Party Oriental style on his Chinese junk called the Mon Lei. But you could use that spear to purchase a wife back in the day. What a deal. A vest made of human hair. A lot of stuff so weird. This is a prosthetic that Marlon Brando wore in The Godfather to make him look like that. Two, one. All right, turn around. Now check your show. There you are. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Tosh went through the bypass door because she can't walk through this. It does make you a little dizzy. Exit through the gift shop. That was different, huh? Yeah, it was good. It always kind of wears me out a little bit. It had more modern stuff than I expected. I was expecting it to be more of just his personal collection and more of like a museum about him. It's probably more kid oriented with some of that stuff. All right, you hungry? I'm hungry. No, I'm hungry. We're gonna try to find a buffet. That's what mama talking about. Woo Maybe it's good, you never know. Never know. Oh, that's pretty good. I was thinking about getting that octopus salad, but. Check your mind. Yeah. <laughs> you sure you don't want some of that? Good. The price was good, huh? Was good. Yeah, food was good. good. It's pretty good. I'd recommend it. Yep. You don't see them every day. Nissan Skyline. Yeah. Nice. I like the color. Oh, that's cool. The car wash looks like a steamboat. I didn't see it when we drove by the first time. We're not sure what is going on here. We got a convict on moped. <laughs> He's getting out of here, isn't he? Oh my goodness. Never seen that one before. Gotta get our new sticker on there. I like that one too. Man, this car has been so many places with us already. Marge says back to the beach. I probably won't stay too long. I've had to have my key card redone for the room twice now. Well, the ocean looks the same. They're watching us. She'll just fall asleep and get sunburnt. It's been several hours. Mom's been asleep and got sunburned. Yeah. And I want to go to the picture show, so we're going. Yeah, here we go. We're already two minutes late. We got to go. I want to see the very first second. So we're going to see Killers of the Flower Moon. So it's about Native Americans that found oil on their property. And then, of course, the white people came and wanted to kill them for it. So it's a Scorsese movie. Hopefully it'll be good. It's three and a half hours long. Yay! Nap time! <laughs> Got me hiring for a good old coke. We filmed it in Oklahoma, where we were very closely with the Osage community and the Osage leaders. Well, what did you think about it? It was a good movie. It's sad, but it is. It's good. sad. It's long. It tells the true story of what happened. Yeah. They had it rough. Yes. It's dark already. You've kept me out. It's warm. Everybody tell us not to come this time of year. It's going to be cold. It's not cold. It's like 80 degrees, 75 degrees or something. The Florida weather, huh? Never know what you're going to get. Have I ever told you that's like the best car in the world? It just knocks down the miles and smiles. Tonight we're eating leftover cheesesteak from yesterday, so. Big and spender. it's still good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Still good. <laughs> Next day, I don't want to bore you with repetitive stuff, so we just skipped past all the getting up and breakfast and everything. And I drove into this, I think it's Our Lady Leliche or something, I believe. So this is where they first landed and did the first Catholic mass in 1565. Looks like a pretty cool place to walk out to the water. So we're gonna check it out. Looks like they have a museum here as well, we might see. From here on out, I'm not gonna video if it's repetitive. That's crazy, before Plymouth Rock, before Jamestown. Man, it is really pretty here. It looks like they have a cemetery. I love my old cemeteries. The two in town, it doesn't seem like you can go in. They're all locked up. You can see that from our motel way over there. So I guess in 1565, when they landed, they put a cross up and had a little ceremony here while lots of Indians watched. We haven't seen any Indians, except for Marge. Sadly, there's no Indians here now. Wow, that thing is enormous when you get up under it. It's really big. Yeah, well, you can see it from anywhere in town. Marge is looking for animals out here. Cool. It's a duck, I think. The grave's over here, 1886. Most of all, these are from the 1800s. 
Oh, this is the chapel of Leliche. And this foundation was built in the 1600s. It was torn down three different times by storms and pirates. So this was built in 1918. So it's been here over a hundred years. Wow, it's a tiny little chapel, huh? Pretty. Here's what it looks like from the outside. A really pretty building. Is this Odin, you said? This grave is from 1799. It's a husband and wife, 1799 to 1800. That may be one of the oldest graves I've ever seen. Most of these are from the 1800s. Well, of course, we're here too early for the museum. It's not open yet. <laughs> Typical me. Well, that's a pretty place to visit. It's free, or at least we didn't pay. One of the two. I'm not sure which one. We didn't see any signs saying you had to pay, so I think it's free. And if you come after 10 a.m., you can go to the museum. We need to buy that van. That thing is awesome. Yeah, it's, right. it's a little Mitsubishi, it says. It's so little. We came back downtown, and I know you've already seen downtown, but we parked here by the fort, and it's only $2.50 an hour. Ripley's is $5 an hour. The trolley place is $10 if you're doing the tour, $20 if you're not. So, yeah, I think this is probably your best option if you can get it. Look at this guy. He is fat as can be, hanging by his back feet, just eating everything he can find. He's living his best life. Isn't it beautiful? It's like, it's ceramic and it's enameled. That is so neat. So we're at the governor's house here in downtown. They have a big art exhibit and they're sifting through stuff that they found over at the wells on the original St. Augustine settlement from the 1500s. I love these. You got to see those beads? That's cool. That's so cool. And it's a free exhibit. These are different paintings of St. Augustine. This was painted here in 1932. All these are old paintings of this area. All this was taken out of wells that were near the original settlement because usually they dump stuff in wells after it was dried up. So you can sort through it if you want to and look through them. They found beads and brass and everything. It's a really pretty building in here. It's kind of incredible that it's free to go in. This is all the history of this place. This has been the site of the governor's house starting in 1586. Of course, it's not in the current governor's house. I guess it was for a very long time. Here's the other side of the building here. It's really beautiful, We're right next to Flagler College. And this is St. George Street, which is like the main walking area. Just a little FYI. No reason to come down here before 10 a.m. because nothing is open, absolutely nothing. Yeah, there's some of the stores that say they open at 10 that still aren't open. 10.35. Yeah, they're still not open. So not much point in coming down here before like 11. We walked over here to the base of the fort on the outside because we hadn't walked by here. So this is where they made cannonballs at one point. And I don't know what all those bullet holes are that are, you know, head high and lower over there against the wall. <laughs> Seems kind of sketch. Well, I don't know about standing against that wall. No. That parking lot at the fort is completely full now at noon. And they're pacing like sharks. Yeah, it was like, we were lucky to make it out alive. So if you're gonna park there, park there early. And nothing will be open. Well, we're back out here at the beach. They're fishing with nets out here. Came down here to the rocks. People fishing off here. Haven't seen anybody catch anything big yet. Well, it's been several hours. Mom's soaked up more sun than her skin can handle, I think. <laughs> I've talked Marge into going back to the picture show. So we're gonna go see the blind, which is about the Duck Dynasty guys. See if it's any good. Last night in St. Augustine. Yep. You enjoyed the beach? Yeah, great. We've never went to the movies back to back nights like that. No. Ever. We'll get your own butter. Load it up. Dude, what do you do? Nothing. Push the button? Um, <laughs> you're going to have to stop me because I'm good. not stopping. That's good. I said that's good. <laughs> so you get one refill of this and a refill of your drink. Really? It's $12.99. What a deal. That's the movie we're going to see tonight. I'm going to be sending you back for butter runs. Ralphie'd love that. He loves yeah. butter. Let's see if this movie's as good as a popcorn. I do love a good picture show. I don't get to go enough. Not again. Got me. They got you this time. <laughs> well, that was a movie with a good story, wasn't yes, it? it was. Yeah, I didn't know all the backstory with uh, their family, but. Apparently, Phil had a, a rough go of it for a little while. It's bedtime. <laughs> we're old. Ready to go to bed once it's dark. Well, we're going to see the beach at night, I guess. Say goodbye to it. We haven't been down here at night, so it's probably cool looking. We used to always uh, hunt them crabs. Yeah, you got to hunt little crabs. Wow, it is beautiful out here. All that moonlight.
That was prettier than expected down there. The moon is just the full deep. moon. We should have been going on every night, huh? Well, I wasn't full last night, right? Oh, come on. I thought she checked the lunar calendar or something. It's six o'clock next morning. Where's them kids to haul the stuff down the car? Know, right? We're gonna have to make a couple trips or something. <laughs> Well, Mama's checking us out. We're gonna get on the road. Probably won't film much. It's gonna be dark for a while. We had fun here. Mama loves the beach. I love my history. It's a good town for both. They ain't gonna cheat you out of that orange juice, are they? I ain't got that skippy. What'd you think about St. Augustine? It's beautiful. I loved it. I had a great time. Anytime you bring me, I'll be back. She went to check I out just check now. Out and there's nobody. There's a sign that says, I'll be back in just a minute. Yeah. Okay. Need a little work on our service. Our balcony room right. had no balcony. It was advertised as a balcony room. You can't go on the balcony. But other than that, it was pretty good. We're actually almost to the Georgia line already. But I am out of gas. So I don't want to push it too far. And mom woke up. I would never do that. This is the first time I even cracked the hood on this thing. Check the oil, it's still perfect, of course. Look how it's covered with like salt water spray or whatever. Gotta wash it when we get home. I can't wait to see all them get back in that Corvette. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's gonna be hilarious. What are they doing? I don't know, there's like 50 guys around one Corvette. Getting 20 miles a gallon, so not bad. Still a long way from home. Hey, nice. I think we're gonna get off here and let Marge drive. I think she's tired of me going 72 the whole way. Check out this building. It says Magnolia Plantation. It's a gas station on this side, but kind of looks like an old house. Tourist trap. Man, we got a lot of stuff here. Everything in a glass jar you can think of. Peach did preserves. See, did you see the bacon? No. Maple bacon jam. Uh, Come on. What the heck? We got a surprise. We're going to stop somewhere cool on the way back. We're going to Juliet, Georgia, to where they filmed the movie Fried Green Tomatoes, which is one of Mom's favorite movies. So yeah. it's going to be exciting. They still have a lot of the movies set there. What in the world? They're like the biggest Georgia Bulldogs fans ever. Wow. That's something we don't have at all back home is cotton fields. Getting off the interstate, head towards Juliet, Georgia. We'll see what this looks like. Old movie stuff. They've got roundabouts in the middle of nowhere, Georgia. Just breathe, honey. You can make it through it. That's where I hop over the middle. Hey, there's a DG. Oh my gosh, this truck's hanging it out here. Well, I think we're here. So a lot of the buildings down through here were just built as movie sets, and then they turned this into a tourist attraction afterwards. Oh, cool. Welcome to Juliet, 1882. So this is where they filmed the movie. The train's, here. <laughs> the train's at the depot. Wow. I think some of these buildings were just fronts for the movie and they made them into permanent buildings so they can have like uh, stores and stuff here. This is so cool to be right where they filmed the movie. If you haven't seen the movie Fried Green Tomatoes, you should watch it. So the Opry House, Monroe County Sheriff's Office. Mom is basically at a full sprint right now. This appears to be the train depot from the movie. You can definitely tell these were movie buildings the way they're built. That's not brick. It's fake brick. It's pretty cool. Here it is, the Whistle Stop Cafe. They're only open like three or four days a week, so you gotta really look at the schedule. Why is the train stopped here? It's stopped here, it's the Whistle Stop. Somebody didn't get run over, did they, like in the movies? Wow, this is so cool. You can see that building in the movie, in the background as well. That's so cool, isn't it? It's always cool to me to go somewhere they filmed a movie. This was like the primary location right here. They filmed a lot of this stuff. From memory, I'm thinking that the guy that like directed the movie, he had been in this area before and thought it was a cool spot for the movie. I think this was a hardware store originally, not a restaurant. That's just going off memory though. Still got tractors driving down the road here. Not a lot of parking. So there's the old pit where they were smoking meat in the movie, if you remember. 
I believe the little dam and the waterway that you see in the movie is in this town as well, close by. Looks like most everything down through here is antique shops and souvenir shops. I know they meant antiques. I had no doubt. We even got goat action over there. Where is this place? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really cool building. I don't know what year it was built, but. I love it. We both got barbecue, she got fried green tomatoes. If you know the movie, we got the Bennett's barbecue. <laughs> Is yours as good as mine? Very good. Are the tomatoes good? They're very good. I'll take your word on it. This is something we don't normally do. We usually never buy dessert if we're going to like a restaurant. What is this, pecan cobbler? Pecan cobbler. And this is a brownie sundae, which is my kryptonite. It's warm. Oh man. Another train going by. Must be what that one's waiting on. At the whistle stop. Man, that was so good. I ate like half of hers. Man, both are great. Man, I'm gonna be so full. Don't get in the habit of eating dessert after your meal. It's not a good thing. <laughs> well, that was awesome. Definitely recommend it. Yeah, that was the best service we've had on the whole trip. On the whole trip. That's yeah, true. we had trouble with a lot of the restaurants we went to, like them not telling us our food was ready or not whatever refilling a drink but this place was awesome good southern food good southern hospitality yep. and now mom's wanting to look at the <laughs> antique shops <laughs> this ain't good but there's a royal crown cola sign RC. yeah me and marcy yeah so cool Hello, how are you? Good. How are you? Oh, yeah. all you the floor is so unlevel <laughs> supposed to be having a shindig here we're usually a day late on the shindigs or a day early divinity oh my grandma made divinity yeah Hello, Good. Good. Oh, yeah? one train after another what oh yeah 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 that's funny see all these trains right here at the whistle stop it's a good thing we didn't bring your mama. She have bought it all. Oh, I know. Check out this sweet V dub. Yeah. Very nice. Need some honey? RC Cola and a moon pie here. What kind do you want? Everything you need. I love them old RC Cola bottles. Yeah. Uh, these are pictures from the movie that was made here. Well, the honey store got her. What'd you get stuff to make fried green tomatoes at home or something? Well, it used some batter stuff. Oh, uh, it's like a kit to make it's to cook some of this stuff at home. Yeah. Okay. You driving? Sure. Yeah. Let's get home and babies are waiting. This is such a cool little town. Yeah. I thought you would definitely like it. I love it. Probably the factory the town was built around. And Probably. Went under. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere near Macon. Well, we've had to get off the interstate because of a wreck. And now we're in a traffic mess here. We're just below McDonald, Georgia. Well, well, at least we're getting to see some cool old houses. These are ginormous. I guess everybody came through this little town. They're having a shindig down here. Shindig everywhere we go. Look at that Corvette, Ralph, we'd freak out. I never told you I hate driving through Atlanta madness it's just madness we've took every back road big trail yeah it keeps sending us on new trails trying to make it through we may never make it through atlanta well we've been in atlanta now for i don't know at least two hours maybe more this it, was the worst atlanta experience no fun at all i was expecting to be able to drive straight through sitting here in traffic something smells like gasoline keep thinking it's somebody else but it keeps following me so just so happens we're out of fuel and there's a Bucky's right Bucky. here. Finally got free out of that traffic. Man, that was awful. Probably didn't get the best gas mileage just sitting in all the traffic. Isn't this where you got pulled over last time? This is where I got pulled over the day I bought this car, yes. You have, gonna have any flashbacks or uh, yeah. gonna make it through it? I'm itching already. I've done like 8,300 miles in this car now. I only broke down on me at the house. It's a good one. Tosh went in alone, that's probably not a good idea. Shoot, we still got 22 miles of the gallon, even with that traffic jam. 
What a deal, gas sipper. It's a little bit crazy here, but they always got anything you need in clean bathrooms. What's so funny, honey? <laughs> I rubbed my window down just a little bit, and now she's clunked up like this. And we're literally in the same spot we got pulled over over here. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do. <sighs> what have you done? You won't go down any farther than that. Oh man. What have you done to it? Is it not going up? No. Marge. I'm sorry. Okay, after much struggle, I got Marge's window up. Don't roll it down again. He <laughs> gonna kill me. Just seen it. It looked like a pigeon's wing, and she's like, "We can just drive like that." I'm like, "I'm not driving down the interstate the whole way home." Oh my god! With it at a 45 degree well, angle. I was the first gonna break it. More. Well, I'm surprised you didn't. I won't touch nothing else. I promise. Yeah, I gotta tear that door down now. Ralphie's gonna grab me out, won't he? I'm gonna put window lock on. How do you do that? <laughs> you got a window lock. It's 9091 here. Scooty's probably missing me. I bet. Missing me. Ralphie's probably got some questions on something he worked on while I was going. Yeah, Rocky don't care. He's probably been fed too much food. The motion cameras go off and it was Granny making Granny's, laps around the house. Granny's been the queen. We're almost home now. It'll be good to see the kids. Yeah. I'm not giving the mic the neighbor here. That horn is so presidential. Oh, Ralphie's riding his bike. I see him. That's Ralphie boy. In my crop. In Mom's Crocs. What's up, Ricky Bobby? Nothing. You've been missing me, haven't you? Yeah. Love you, buddy. Love you. Look, Scooter's been missing me. I know that. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, Squeeze wanted her mama back. I know this Wawa's not even out here. Yeah, she probably don't know. <laughs> she don't even care. Of course, Mabel and Flower are loose. Can't keep them in anywhere. You miss me? Yeah. Oh, you miss me so much. Look, there she is. There's the bad Monty. Um, Did you miss me? Say yeah, it. I miss you. <laughs> it's been gone too long. It's been a minute, huh? Mimi almost wrecked y'all. Yeah. But then all of a sudden she gets over a little it's bit a of a pothole. Hole, and it, it was the like, car just like. Uh, oh. It was like. Just when we thought they were safe it with like Mimi. Shot the of the vehicle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she was like, that'll wake you up. <laughs> Have you been good? At least you're in the fence. That's good. That's good, Rocky. Rocky, you would have loved Florida. You would have just loved it. Look what I got you. Yeah, son. <laughs> Beef jerky dip. I've been waiting for that. <laughs> I couldn't find it at any store. We, I know. We went to the store and they had it. I was like, I've got to get that for Ralphie. I, I've been waiting. Like, I've been looking at every Walmart. For you know beef they, jerky dip. So it's just beef jerky. Beef jerky, like at like every Walmart. I've been looking. I've been like I knew scouring. It. I got you that ring. Um, that's from Gatorland. I got you that from the Gatorland. <laughs> it's the original beauty. Oh, yeah. perfect. This, oh, fine. Well, thanks for coming along with us on our trip to St. Augustine. <laughs> if you're married with children, if you got some good people to watch your kids while you're going, it's a good idea at least. Every now and then to go on a trip just yourself. Yeah, it's cheaper than divorce. It is. Wow. Buy an old custom cruiser wagon. It'll get you anywhere. Guaranteed.